the Porsche 9912 GT2 RS. In the fastest production lap on the 25th of October 2018, a 6 minute and 40 second minute lap around the Nürburgring was set by the Porsche test driver Lars Kern in a 911 GT2 RS prepared by the Porsche owned Mantley Racing. Seeing the previous record holder, an unmodified Lamborghini Aventador SVJ that had deprived the GT2 RS of its record in July 2018. 2019, Porsche set further production lap records with the car at various North American circuits, 1 minute and 24 seconds at the Road Atlanta, 2 minutes 15 seconds at Road America, and 1 minute and 22 seconds at the Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. The GT2 RS was officially launched by Porsche at the 2017 Goodwood Festival of Speed along with the introduction of the 911 Turbo Exclusive Series. The GT2 RS is powered by a 3.8 litre twin turbocharged flat 6 engine that has a maximum power output of 515 kilowatt or 700 PS and 691 horsepower at 7,000 revs per minute and 715 Newton meters of torque, making it the most powerful production 911 variant ever built. Unlike the previous GT2 versions, the car is fitted with a 7-speed PDK transmission to handle the excessive torque produced from the engine. Porsche claims that the car will accelerate from 0 to 100 in just 2.7 seconds and it has a top speed of 340 kilometers. The roof made of magnesium, front lid and front rear wings and boot lid made of carbon fiber, front and rear apron made of lightweight polyurethane, rear and side windows made of polycarbonate and an exhaust system made of titanium. Porsche claims that the car has a wet weight of only 1,470 kilograms. The featured GT2 RS has the Weissach package, which reduces the weight by another 30 kilograms, courtesy of the additional use of carbon fiber and titanium parts in the car. This includes the roof, the anti-roll bars, and the coupling rods on both axles being made out of carbon fiber. While the roll cage is made from titanium, the package also includes a set of magnesium wheels specifically made for the GTRS by BBS. So, after all that info, let's have a listen to the GT2 RS on the track, the best part of the video. Let's listen to that exhaust and let's enjoy that beautiful sound of the GT2 RS. Thank you. 
So let's share some incredible performance figures. As I mentioned earlier, the top speed 340 kilometers an hour, 0 to 100 in just 2.7 seconds, 0 to 160 in just 5.8 seconds, 0 to 200 kilometers an hour in 8.3 seconds, 0 to 300 kilometers an hour in 22.1 seconds, and 80 to 120 kilometers an hour in 1.5 seconds, and 100 to 200 kilometers an hour in 5.5 seconds, a quarter mile in 10.5 seconds, an incredible performing GT2 or RS. How does one sum up the 911 GT2 RS? Well, it happens when you combine a lightweight sports car with a 3.8 liter flat six that cranks out 700 horsepower and 552 pound-feet of torque. That monstrous power is sent to the rear wheels through a seven-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission along with a set of sticky Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires. The powertrain helped the 911 GT2 RS basically teleport from 0 to 100 in 2.6 seconds and disintegrate a quarter-mile track strip in 10.3 seconds at 140 miles an hour. Of course, this extraordinary Porsche has the moves like Mick Jagger and the mechanical equivalent of telepathy. Its highly adroit chassis helps the GT2 RS stay planted in the corners and yet remain livable on normal roads. However, don't mistake the 911 for a daily driver. The sound of its wailing engine, it's exhilarating on the track, but it can be excruciating on long highway trips. GT2 RS sits atop of the performance hierarchy of the story 911 Heavily vented bodywork and conspicuous rear wing help to identify what also happens to be the most powerful production 911 ever built. So there you go, that was the Porsche 911 GT2 RS. And if you liked our video, don't forget to give us the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.